Hello, welcome to Just Learn Civil. This is the first tutorial in highway engineering. We will learn about bitumen, asphalt, coal tar, and cut back bitumen. What is bitumen? What is asphalt bitumen? And what is MC30 bitumen? You might have seen drum like this with cut back bitumen MC30. We will learn about what is MC30 as well. So, bitumen. In India, asphalt equals to concrete but replacing cement with bitumen that is aggregate plus bitumen gives asphalt. But in countries like America, asphalt means bitumen. So it depends on in which country this term is being used. Bitumen is produced from fractional distillation of crude oil. Fractional distillation means suppose there, there are oil, raw oil and many many oils like gasoline kerosene petrol between it is the mixer crude oil then at different temperature di different liquid get distilled so this is fractional distillation bitumen is used like a binding material like cement so it instead of cement concrete we will get asphalt concrete when we use bitumen bitumen versus coal tar now we already saw how bitumen is obtained now coal tar is obtained by destructive distillation of coal and wood in absence of air both are black in color so some people get confused about bitumen and coal tar requirement of bitumen bitumen's purpose is to be used in road as a binding material to make concrete now these are the three properties that the bitumen should fulfill to be of good quality. It should not be more sensitive to temperature. It means during hot temperature, it should not melt and during cold temperature, it should not become brittle. When it becomes brittle, it will crack. So it should not be more sensitive to temperature. Similarly, it should have adequate viscosity. When it has adequate viscosity, it will have good flow. There are aggregates and it needs to penetrate in the aggregate for this it needs to be like liquid not not much liquid but it should have less viscosity more viscous means more resistance to flow so it should have less resistance to flow it becomes more fluid like water then it will lose its adhesive property so it should have adhesive property as well it means it should be in between these two adequate viscosity without losing its adhesion because bitumen is used for binding property and if it loses adhesion then it will lose its purpose now bitumen as the last end product from the crude oil when fractional distillation occurs bitumen is the last product to be obtained in this series now this is the increasing viscosity and here as you go backward you will get decreasing viscosity bitumen has more viscosity but due to its more viscosity it is difficult to be applied alone so it is mixed with some other liquid with less viscosity to make this combination as less viscous and less viscous means more flow and more flow means easily penetrate through the aggregate Cut back bitumen is a type of bitumen. It is liquid bitumen. Literally, cut back means reduce something. So, cut back bitumen means reduction of viscosity. Viscosity is when viscosity of bitumen is reduced by adding another liquid which is volatile, then it becomes cut back bitumen. Cut back means cutting back viscosity of the bitumen. Viscosity is temporarily reduced, not permanently, but temporarily reduced by adding volatile oil. After the application, oil evaporates. Now, when bitumen is applied over the surface of the road along with that volatile liquid, then volatile liquid makes the bitumen to flow easily and penetrate through the aggregate gaps. Penetrate through the aggregate gaps. Then after its application, after some time of its application, the oil evaporates and between regain its original viscosity, its original strength. So the property of bitumen is not changed.
types of vitamins how rapidly the oil evaporates if the oil evaporates quickly or the oil evaporates slowly depending upon that the the vitamin can be cotton like vitamin can be classified into three categories one is rapid medium and slow if oil evaporates rapidly then it's rapid and if and if the evaporation rate is the slowest then it is slow curing and in between is the medium to manufacture rc gasoline is used as solvent to manufacture emc kerosene is used as solvent and to manufacture esc gas oil or fluid oil is or is used or it is directly obtained from distillation of crude oil this esc now uses of rc is to be used in surface dressing and patchwork so patchwork means in the flexible pavement you will see some patches formed after some time of its usage patches means small pot like so to fill this you use rc in mc is used for premix with less quantity of fine aggregate premix is a type of flexible pavement and sc is recommended for when you have to use less quantity of fine aggregate then you use mc with appreciable quantity means with more quantity than you use sc generally we use mc now back to the question what is mc30 mc means medium curing and 30 30 represents viscosity this means minimum viscosity is 30 and maximum is two times that is 60 you will see later in the table so mc grades are mc30 mc70 250 800 and mc3000 similarly these grades are for sc and rc as well but generally these two grades are used mc30 and mc70 for prime core tack core for these purposes we use mc30 and mc70 mc grade do not break when it comes in contact with aggregate so it is designed to be mixed with aggregate now mc30 has the lowest viscosity this 30 represents viscosity let's see in the table minimum and maximum mc30 means minimum is 30 and maximum is 60 similarly mc70 means minimum viscosity is 70 and maximum is 2 times that is 140 now you can see here where these two are used mc30 is used when the base is of water bound macadam and mc70 is used when stabilized soil or crosser on macadam as the base is used for prime coat or tack coat advantage of cutback vitamin we know cutback vitamin means reduction of viscosity reduction of viscosity means more penetration through aggregate then it can easily flow through the aggregate and bind them properly when it is to be used in cold weather then we will either have to heat it heat this vitamin to obtain the required viscosity to be applied in the cold weather instead of doing that we can use cut back vitamin because after all we want to reduce viscosity and cut back vitamin reduces the viscosity temporarily after its application the oil evaporates and the remaining is the vitamin with its original strength and viscosity so it can be used in cold weather penetration create vitamin has a thermoplastic property thermoplastic property means when it is heated it becomes soft when it becomes soft it can flow easily and its viscosity is increased it can go through the gaps of the aggregate and bind them properly similarly fluidity of vitamin is obtained by raising temperature but when it is needed to have fluidity at lower temperature cut back vitamin is included thank you for watching like share subscribe and comment if you have any further question